so I would like to introduce our young, young guns this morning. They have prepared a very special message for us. And our theme for today is ready, set, and go. So it's about transitioning. It's about moving to the next stage of your life or moving to the next uh, season that you might be in. And we all have something to learn in that. Hey, it's not easy. Transitioning is not easy. So let's hear what they have to say. So first, I'd like to introduce Joel. He loves nachos and he goes for Geelong. What can you do? What can you do? And Joel is still considering which high school he'd like to go to, so he's open to suggestions after the service. So there we go. Joel, there you go. (laughs) Hi, I'm Joel. Have you ever thought about what it means to be ready? When you are ready for something, what have you done? You have prepared. Like when you are in a competition, you have practiced and practiced and practiced because you want to be ready. Or when it's time for bed and mum says, get ready for bed, she means have a shower, put your PJs on, brush your teeth, grab your teddy, say your prayers, and when you're ready, get into bed. It's just like this with God. You have to be ready for the next leg of life by preparing. You should read the Bible, pray to God, follow his advice, follow him, have faith in him, and love everyone. You are preparing to meet God and the plans he has for you. Preparing is also about thinking it through. If you're about to do something and you think it might not be right, just stop and think it through and then make the decision. If you do something straight away, you might regret it after a while because you thought it was the right thing at the time, but you didn't think it through, so it actually actually wasn't. This way you can suffer consequences. Like that time when I really needed to go to the toilet and I got on, but I didn't stop and think it through and I realised there was no toilet paper. (laughs) That's suffering. Earth is just like going to the gym. When you go to the gym, you're going to train and train. So you'll get fit, be healthy, and prepare your body for the goal you have for it. Same with earth. You have to go and train and train so you're ready for the next part of your life. Without a goal, you aren't aiming for anything or to go anywhere. A goal keeps you focused as you prepare. And when you prepare, it, as it says in Psalms 32 verse 8, I'll instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Or like in an interview, for example, when that person calls you in, that means you need to be ready for any questions they might ask. This means you have to have gone through any possible questions, done research, studied and prepared. Life is just like going for an interview. If we are not ready for it, we fail to pass or go through to the next level. We need to realise that going to be with God, the final stage of life, is about being ready because you can't just go to the last leg of life without doing doing anything or without being prepared. What would you do without preparing? Well, I don't know, but you want to be ready. So I can tell you right now, don't do anything without preparing or thinking it through so you're ready for the future. Well done. That was really, really good. I do thoroughly enjoy the part that you said about a goal and goal setting when you're preparing. That's really good because then it's small little pieces and you can really see, you can see little steps along the way. We're going to invite Liam. Liam is a fantastic young man. He's been accepted into Bentley Secondary College and he's also been accepted into the GAT program, which is the program for gifted and talented (laughs) students. And that is exactly what Liam is. He is gifted and talented. And God has blessed him very, very much with everything that he's going to present to us today. Here we go. Good morning, Bayside. So I'm gonna talk about going to the Lord. Once you're ready and you're set, you probably know what comes next. Going is what I'm here to talk to you about today. Doing our journey with God is like a running race. The prophets had a message to to share about the coming of Jesus. And then Jesus came and fulfilled the good news. By Jesus living, dying, and then living again, he gave us a message of good news for us to run with. When the Christian church was formed, it took the good news and spread it to every corner of the earth, spreading the news that we have life because our sins died with Jesus and he overcame death so that we would do. In that race, there'll be many times where you feel like giving up 
time and time again. But the prize is too great to run away from or give up on. The prize is everlasting life with God in heaven. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 said, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked for us. So you and I continue the race from many Christians before us as we live out our Christian lives that God has chosen for us. Make sure you find out what race that God has set for you. And once you have, don't compare it to others. As the great Phil Virgis once said, <laughs> if you run someone else's race, you'll never arrive at your finish line. Imagine if Albert Einstein tried to run Thomas Edison's race, or for the kids, Dorothy the dinosaur tried to run Elmo's. <laughs> I believe that we don't need to worry about what anyone else thinks or judges us by because if this is the race that you want to finish, then all concern, self-consciousness and thought of harm will be stripped from you along the way. God gets excited watching our journey. He sees the good in us and brings the best in us because statistic. well, take me for an example. Statistically, only 2% of the population are wearing us like me. <laughs> 10% are left-handed like me, and, and 1% of the population have red hair and blue eyes, also like me. <laughs> and there's no stat for this one, but there aren't too many 11-year-old boys who would rather stare at a map all day than play video games. As a tree starts to sprout, there are only three simple things it needs to thrive. Sunlight, water, and nutrients. I know we're not trees, but it's a similar thing for us. We also need three things to thrive. But these aren't things you need to give. These are things. No, these aren't things you need to get. These are things you need to give. You need to love love your God, yourself, and others. The good thing is you don't even need a question if God loves you, or when you have a loving family in church like I do, you don't need a question if others love you either. But then it comes down to loving yourself, and sometimes this may be the hardest. Because most of the faults that you make, only you know about them. And even though God forgives you, sometimes you don't forgive yourself. And all we need to do in this situation is just talk to God, because he loves you and forgives you, and will never, ever give up on you. Just as that tree grows when it's got what it needs, so do we. We grow in the name of the Lord, spreading the word and being a servant of God. Once you've found your race, make sure you get ready, set, and what are you waiting for? Go. Go. So good. So, so good. Give them another clap. Come on. <laughs> so now I'm talking to all my friends over here. All my best friends. Well, most of my best friends are here this morning. I think we're missing a few, but that's okay. They're obviously at sport or something. It's all right. We'll, we'll forgive them. Yeah? Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. yeah? I just want to say I love how you are sitting so quietly and so good. Can you just shake it out a little bit? Come on, can everyone shake it out a little bit? Otherwise, we're going to get a little bit tired and sleepy and dreamy. Come on, stand up. Come on, everyone stand up. Let's all stand up. Let's all sit down. Just sit down. Stand up. Stand up. All right. Let's sit down. Well done, everyone. Did you stretch it out a little bit? Yeah? 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 So this morning, we're obviously talking about a race, right? And a journey. Our, our, our life is actually not a race. Sorry, it's a journey. And Pastor Rob has a message calling, called meandering. And that's such a wonderful word, isn't it? We have to meander. We need to stop sometimes and enjoy things, yeah? And God's journey for our lives, he's got so many amazing things planned for you guys. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when you are my age... Like 10. <laughs> How many things you would have experienced by then? It's going to be epic. Yeah? It's going to be so epic. However, sometimes in our journey, things don't always work out the way we thought they would. And it's really tricky. Have you ever do, done that spinning thing where you're spinning around and around and around and around? Who's done that? Who's done that? 
who has spun and spun and spun until you felt a little bit sick in your tummy. Yeah, have you done that? And you felt like, oh my goodness, the whole world is spinning around me. And sometimes that's a good feeling. Sometimes it's not such a good feeling. And that's what I want to speak to you about this morning. Because God actually has some advice for us. He has some wisdom for us in this, re- in this area. And he actually shared that wisdom with an organization in Australia. Did you know that? No. Yeah. God speaks to the people in government. They don't always listen. Can we just say that? <laughs> yeah. They don't always listen. Yeah. But... This organization did listen. I've got a little song for you. The song that I want to share with you is called Stop, Look, Listen, Think, so that you can arrive alive. Do you know that song? I'm not going to sing it for you because that's going to be traumatic, all right? (laughs) But that song, oh, yay! Yay. All right. So I'm not really here to talk to you about traffic and road safety. I am here to talk to you about your journey of life. And when things feel a little bit out of whack and you feel like the world is spinning around you, that is really great advice. Can you do a thumbs up? That, hello, can you do a thumbs up? That's really good advice. So the first one is stop. When things feel like they're getting a little bit out of hand, we need to stop. Otherwise, the world's going to keep spinning like crazy, okay? And if we let it keep spinning, we're going to start spinning with it. And we're going to feel a little bit anxious. And remember how I said your tummy starts feeling a little bit queasy? And we don't want to feel like that because that results in something else, doesn't it? A little bit of a mess. Yes. All right. So what we would prefer to do is to stop and find God. Find where is God in that moment when things feel like they didn't work out the way they planned. Maybe, you know, in your journey, maybe all of a sudden you feel like you're running downhill and things really feel very busy. Yeah, like we did in our song this morning. Or you feel like you have to climb up a mountain during that part of your journey. This is a metaphor just for the adults, just so that you understand. Yeah? Cool. Every day we are faced with challenges. So when we stop and we take a little break and we find God's peace in that moment, how helpful is that? Can I ask, are there any adults that sometimes forget to do that as well? Yeah? I think we can learn from that as well. What is the second? What? Who can remind me? What was that second one again? Yes, Alana? Look. We need to look. Where do we need to look? Do we need to compare with a person that's running next to us, whose journey is going on next to us, and say, oh, they look like they're doing a really good job? No. Where do we need to look? We need to look up. Yes. We need to look up. We need to look to Jesus. We need to focus on Jesus and on what he has planned for our journey. Because when we start comparing with other people's journeys, that's just going to make us feel sick again. Because theirs is different to ours. And we can't be running someone else's race. We can't be journeying someone else's journey because God's got a plan for my life. He's got a plan for your life and for your life and for the friend next door to us. But it's not the same plan as ours. So starting to compare is not going to be helpful at all. We need to focus on our own and we need to focus on Jesus. Yeah? What's the third one? Who can remind me? Ooh, this is a hard one. Yeah? We all want to be heard, but we don't have a lot of time to actually listen. So it's really important that we learn. This is something that we need to learn. We can learn. You are learning now to listen because you're sitting quietly and you're doing a very good job. Yeah, can we have another Bluetooth high five? Come on. High five. There we go. Well done. Excellent. 
All right. You are doing a great job of listening today. And there will be a quiz after the service, all right? You can't go on the jumping castle if you don't answer the questions. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Shh. All right. So in order to listen, we need to be quiet. So if I am just talking about everything that's happening in my world and I don't stop to listen to others because they might have really good advice for you. If you listen to your leaders, you listen to your teachers, you listen to your parents, and hey, here's a very important one. You need to listen to your grandparents because they have a lot of wisdom. Any grandparents in the house this morning? There we go. Yes, well done. They know because you know what? They've done it so many times. They understand what you're going through. They were there. They remember. And they can help you. Okay? Who else do we need to listen to? Yes, Joshi. <gasps> Just give this man something. Can, has anybody got a prize or something? Come to me afterwards for a lucky dip, yeah? Well done. We need to listen to God. Does he have good advice? Yes. All the time, doesn't he? All that God is only good. How many times have we said that in children's ministry? God is love. Only love. There's nothing else, okay? He's only good. Only love. Only kind. Yeah? So his advice is always good, always amazing, and it can, always helpful. Yep? Now... I think we still have one more thing that we need to talk about. What was that? Who can remind me? Yes, Miss Lucy? Think. Okay. So this is important to remember. Once you have stopped and you've looked to God, okay, so you know where you're going, right? And you've listened. You've listened to the people around you. Guess what? God has given you a sound mind. Yeah? He's given you creativity within yourself. And you know what? Your parents believe in you. Your leaders believe in you. We know that you guys are going to make amazing choices, awesome decisions, okay? And we know, we know, we are your cheer squad. We know that you guys can do this. You can go into prep. And you can be the best prep you can ever be. And you can go into high school. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Yeah? And we will find you a school, okay? I promise. <laughs> you can do this. You know that. God has not given you a spirit of fear. He's given you a spirit of love, a spirit of power, and a, and a sound mind. All right. So right now, I want you to know that you can trust him because he works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And I'd really like us to all stand up together because we're going to say a little prayer together as a church family this morning. All right, I'll say it and you can say it after me. Is that all right? Yeah. God be with our family. From the youngest to the oldest, from the shortest to the tallest. Lord, shine your light in our relationships. Lord, show your grace into our troubles. God, be with our family, weaving your love and purpose into our work, our rest, our race, our journey. Our playing. Our playing. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well done. All right. So let's put our hands together for the kids in the house this morning.
Make sure you don't miss anything Bayside. Download the app today and keep up with messages, events and blogs delivered right to your phone. Go to BaysideChurch.com.au forward slash app to download today.